Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 70k subscribers. So please subscribe and join the family. Trust me, you'll love it here. So it's been a while since I made a business related video and today we're bringing things back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some business mistakes that you want to avoid if you're starting a business. Some of these mistakes I made myself and I don't want you guys to make it. So I'm just going to be sharing. Before we get into this video, I just want to talk about my upcoming class. So this is going to be the second edition of my business class there are three different categories of this so if you're thinking of starting a business and you don't know what business you want to start or you just need counseling counseling when it comes to starting a business then this class is definitely for you i'm going to leave more details in the description box below and you can just send me a dm on instagram and then we take it from there so the first business mistake you want to avoid is not having a plan and that's where I come in. Send me a DM and I'm going to give you all the information that you need to join my class. Not having a plan. I talk to a lot of people and I hear a lot of people say, oh, I want to start a business and I'm like, oh, okay, so what are you thinking of? Some of them are just like, oh, I don't know. I just want to start a business. I just want to have a business and you don't even know what you want to start. So I can help with that here. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, um, some people know what they want to do. They know what they want to start a business for, but they don't even have a plan. They don't have a budget. You don't have a budget of how much you want to start with. You don't know how you're going to market your business. You don't know how you're going to promote your business you don't know what you want to focus on first because like with a lot of businesses there are different branches for example hair hair business i'm going to use hair business as reference in this video if you want to start hair business where do you want to source your hair from do you want to source it from vietnam do you want to source it from cambodia do you want to source it from china you don't even know where you just want to start a hair business you don't know how much you want to start with you're just you just want to start a business first thing you want to do before starting a business or before jumping into conclusions is having a plan make a plan i'm going to make a video very soon on how to make a plan to start a business how to plan to start your business and all of that you always want to have a business plan before you even take the next step whatever that is the second business mistake that you want to avoid and i feel like this kind of links to the first one i i said is not doing your research or not um learning enough not understanding the market you're getting into yes like as you get into a market or as you start a business you understand the business more and you know more about the business but before you even start a business you need to understand it you need to know what you're getting into you need to have knowledge about it if possible join classes if there are people that are offering classes just so you can educate yourself enough so when your customers are asking questions because believe it or not when you start a business before some people buy from you they're going to ask so many questions you don't want to be that person that or oh, when they ask oh what material is this what kind of material is it um how long can i use it for am i going to experience any shedding what texture is this hair can this hair take heat am i supposed to apply oils to it and you're just there you don't know anything about it you don't know how to answer the person's questions you want to have enough knowledge about the market you're getting into whatever market it is you're getting into you want to educate yourself enough so when people ask you questions you know what to say and this even plays part when you're marketing your business or when you're promoting your business you know the pros that your products have over another person's products or your competitor's product so yeah the second thing is that you you always want to make sure that you educate yourself it might take time but yeah just like do your research like research 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 there's nothing you can't find on google there's nothing you can't find on youtube if there's if you can't find it there when you're talking to your vendors ask as many questions as you want to ask any question that you think oh a customer can ask you ask that to your vendor just so that you know what you're getting into before you getting into the market the third mistake that um see people make when starting a business and i even made is not investing enough in your business or investing too much in your business most of the time when people are starting a business especially when you don't have like a fan base or you didn't have like a following before you're starting your business for this is just an example let's say you didn't have a following or you didn't have like people asking you about the products and you're just starting i always advise people to start small let's say i have 100k followers on instagram i always like to switch up my hair and people always tell me oh my hair is nice and ask me about my hair it makes sense for me 
to start my business with about 500 bundles of hair or start my business with 100 weeks or 200 weeks 300 weeks at least i know that oh there's a potential market for me but if you're somebody that's starting with maybe 200 followers and I mean, you don't really like switch up your hair like that you don't even know anything about wigs i wouldn't really advise you to go ahead and start with 200 weeks or 300 weeks because you don't really know how the market is going to be for you you don't really know um if you have if you're going to be successful in the business i'll suggest getting maybe 20 weeks surf the market see how it goes like promote it show people and of course if you're getting more you're going to get it for cheaper but like it's just advisable it's just it's the wise thing to do except you have the money for promotion like you have the money for promotion you have the money to pay influencers you have the money to run instagram ads you have the money to invest in different kind of kinds of ads that way i'll say oh you don't need to start small since you have the money like go into the business fully buy 1000 weeks pay um 100 influencers to promote for you that way you know that oh okay you're most likely going to succeed regardless there are some things that are necessary there are some things you need to invest in for example your packaging now because you're a small business and you're starting small doesn't mean like your packaging should be flimsy your packaging should look anyhow just because you're trying to save cost <laughs> no this can apply to different other things i feel like anything that is worth doing is worth doing well so if you have the money to invest in a photographer invest in a photographer that's like if you don't have a good phone but if you have a good phone and your phone takes nice pictures yeah you can save cost and take pictures that also applies to investing too much say you're a youtuber now you have a camera and everything and you think you can take your pictures nicely without i'm going to show you guys some pictures i took for my business here i've never paid a photographer to take pictures for me i have three cameras youtube i have about three cameras so <laughs> i tried talking to a photographer one time but then they i think the charge was like 150 thousand naira for my product shots and i'm just like yo i can use that 150 thousand naira to stock on something else <laughs> so i took my pictures myself and i feel like i did pretty well so yeah try not to invest too much and try not to like be too stingy with investing just try to have a balance is what i'm saying the fourth business mistake is wanting to start with everything guys like rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> you can't start with everything you can't start with and i feel like that's a, a mistake that i personally made so apart from my cosmetic business from kind of business i do there are so many things you can buy like there are so many things you can buy and then i was trying to see how i can buy every single thing to be honest you can't start with everything you need to start small and then build your way up so it's okay to start small going back to hair business you want to start hair business and there are three main um, hair textures the straight body wave and curly i feel like if you want to start small like just focus on those three don't start saying oh i want to do um straight body wave water wave um water curls what are texture is there jerry curls bouncy waves this no you don't need to do all of that you can just start small you don't need to say oh i want to get all the textures i also want to get hair brushes i also want to get hair bands i also want to get wax stick hair foam hair gel hair glue ah calm down calm down <laughs> I, I literally needed to tell myself sarah calm down like you don't you don't need to start with everything you can start small and it's even more exciting when you drop a product and then that product is selling and then you say oh guys like i'm dropping another product where we're introducing a new product it's even more exciting that way like you build the hype more and more but when you just drop everything at once it's just like okay what next the fifth business mistake is trying to do everything by yourself this applies to people that have like started a business already or people that are already in the market once you have a business that has grown and you feel like oh you need more hands this is also like a point that is under investing in your business i have like different businesses that i do so there's one of them that needed help with like i really needed help with that one and i was still trying to do it myself trying to do it myself but then i realized that once i finally got somebody to help me i finally had time to run the other businesses and things became faster that. i have somebody that's replying to customers packing their orders and doing all of that and i'm attending to that one so that way like it was like more money for me and um, of course you're going to have to pay that person but you get more work done in less time so work that i'll not work that will normally take me one day to do now it's taking me 
like half of a day to do it because i'm not the only one doing it but two that are doing it so this is like a point i didn't mention in investing in your business if you feel like there's anything that you need to invest in that will help your business more honestly invest in that thing so for me there's this machine it was really expensive it was really expensive that i needed to invest in because i used to do things manually so what would normally take me um like two days literally to do when i finally invested in this machine i realized that it was taking me like let's say three hours four hours to do the work i would normally do manually in like two days and that way i could take like more orders 10 orders that would take me two days to do now 10 orders is taking me three hours to do so that way i can take more orders and then that's more money for me so you see that in like two weeks in a month i've made back the money i spent on that machine and i have more customers now am i making sense yeah the sixth business mistake that i made and i've seen people make is joining your business miss and uh, money with your personal money that's a mistake i made and now if you know me if you're close to me you know that now i don't play with my business money sometimes when you um put your business money and your personal money together it's very very difficult to actually see how much you're making how much your business is making how much your profit is how much is going out and all of that because believe it or not as much as you think oh i know that i had 25k in my account before and my business money is 10k that entered the account so i know that my bill somehow you're going to get confused sooner or later you're going to get confused and you see yourself taking from your business money and yeah you don't want you don't want to be confused we don't want to mix and um, join our business money business money is business money business money is not your money mm, one thing i would always advise people to do is to pay yourself like pay yourself that way you don't feel like your business is taking too much let's say you invested 50k to your business and the return is 200 percent so you have 150k now in your accounts i would always advise like investing back like 100k into the accounts maybe you pay yourself 25k and then the main 25k maybe you invest it into other things that you need that will help to make your business better yeah um, I also I also want to make like a video on how to like set your prices, how to set your prices, how how to set what to pay yourself, how to set what to invest back in your business, what to what to invest back in your business, what to pay yourself, how to set your prices for your items, profits transportation all of those let me know if that's a video you guys want to see because i feel like that wasn't very easy for me to figure out but then now that i figured that out like that's the best decision one of the best decisions i've made for my business so um yeah you guys want to make sure that you're not putting your business money together with your personal money just to avoid confusions and it will do you more harm than good honestly because you think oh i'm so rich <laughs> it's not your money it's for your business by now seventh mistake that i see people make is ignoring their competition or looking at their competition too much yeah so i feel like when you look at your i feel like when you look at your competition too much or your competitor too much that is when you have pressure on yourself let me tell you guys not everybody's business is actually what it looks like on social media you can sit down and say oh i've been posting i post every day market my products every day i do this do that do that but i'm not selling but look at this person that's also selling the same thing that i'm selling let me tell you something i can sit down right now and carry um empty paper bags staple them and put fake names on it and arrange it and just make a boomerang oh sending out orders you don't want to miss this out um selling out fast but that's also a marketing strategy please don't come and bully anybody and say fake life that's also a marketing strategy because believe it or not when people see i don't do that i don't do that but i know that is a marketing strategy it's a psychological thing when people see that oh a lot of people are buying this thing you don't want to say oh, okay this one that she's saying is selling out fast and a lot of people are buying and um, some people are even restocking let me buy it and see like what is so good about this product and you find yourself placing an order for it so it's, just, it's also a marketing strategy but for a business owner you shouldn't always be looking at 
that person because you don't even know if it's real it can be real sometimes but like you shouldn't compare yourself everybody's journey is different honestly and another one is ignoring your competitor so especially when it comes to businesses that there are new things every time for example like clothing business if you're going for like fast fashion um brands like let me not call brands in. if you're going for like fast fashion items for example there's always something new like every month so you also want to look at your competitor and see oh what is this person doing what can i do better or what can i add to my own business you don't just want to sit down and think you know it all no like look at your competition what are they doing i'm not saying copy them exactly but yeah and the final business mistake i see people make is not having a marketing strategy marketing is like so important i don't know how to stress this marketing promoting your business is so important that is what is going to bring you customers that is what's going to sell your products there are different marketing strategies different marketing shots even different if you want to use facebook ads instagram ads going out and sharing flyers what is it there are different marketing strategies you need to find one that works for you and not just one honestly like i wouldn't even advise anybody to just go for one marketing strategy strategy any way you see that you can promote your business like go for it you never know the one that will be like the one that is booming or flourishing for you so you just never know so i think promotion or yeah promotion marketing is something that you should invest in yeah that's one of the things that i don't think people talk about enough like promote how promoting your business like shamelessly promoting your business yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video also if you want to join my becoming your own boss class there are three there's a one-on-one -on -one session there's the general session and then there's if you want both classes there's also that one so the one-on-one -on -one is 25,000 naira. the general class is 15,000 naira. and if you want both instead of getting it for 40,000 naira, you're going to get it at a discount of 35,000 naira. so i'm going to leave all the details in the description box below i'm going to leave the flyer somewhere here or here somewhere on the screen i'm going to leave the flyers and you're going to see everything you need to know about these classes so if you want to join just send me a dm on instagram and we'll take you from there if you guys want more business related videos please let me know i really enjoy making videos like this honestly so just let me know if you have any questions or concerns let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Ra. 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 Ra.